Good morning. For all the newcomers to this channel, my name is Didi Taihutu. I am the guy that sold his house and everything else he owned, took the wife and the kids into a camper van, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, three years later, I am still traveling the world with my family, 24 seven supporting Bitcoin and all other cryptocurrencies. Now reporting to you guys here from Koh Phangan, Thailand. Today I'm going to talk about the Bitcoin price. I'm going to show you an amazing chart where all the lines come together and give us a very clear view of what could happen in the next couple of weeks. Also guys going to talk about how Venezuela now has blocking Bitcoin to buy their passports. I will tell you why. Very important part in this video why I think it is important that we as a community start to educate all these people out there how to protect and preserve their wealth because numbers and history have shown us now how much wealth those people have lost in the last couple of years and i'm going to show you how we could have saved them and how we can save them now in the future and then i'm going to end the videos guys with some crazy news about blockchain heroes now in space and these nfts that are now created by joel com and travis wright enjoy today's videos guys Welcome to this beautiful island here on Copangan again. I'm going to take a jump into my office. Whoa. Yes, I'm in my office, guys, on this beautiful beach here in Chalaklam in Thailand. I am going to bring you some bad news, guys, because tomorrow it is Saturday and probably tomorrow will be the first day in the last two months I won't be able to make a video and uh, upload it in the morning. The video tomorrow will probably be later sorry for this but um, we have some plans for tomorrow that will make me go out very early and probably come back later tomorrow morning saturday morning sorry guys no coffee with my video and i need to say probably no coffee with my video because our lives keep changing every day so maybe i do find the time or do wake up at four or five in the morning yesterday evening i had a beautiful evening with a mastermind group it's a really cool group here on Copacabana with all people that are entrepreneurs, have these digital nomad lives and just spend time together. We had some dinner and some chill time after dinner and during these times we talk about the big trends we see in life, the big trends we see in all the different industries and we just try to support each other in um, our businesses and how to develop new businesses for the near future. because. It's all about finding these beautiful opportunities in life. And if you find an opportunity, you need to go like 100% for them. One thing that came out of the mastermind group was something that was um, invented, so developed here on Kopangan. It's called Inner Walk. I, I did never hear about this. So it's all about meditation. Normal people think meditation would be like sitting on the floor and you know, not thinking or trying not to think and all that stuff. But this type of meditation at the inner walk is different. I am thinking about doing it and I still need to figure out which week I will do it and if I can make time to do it because the inner walk is something very simple guys. You go there at this place at 12 on Monday and then you need to walk 25 meters up there and back between a line in a line for four hours. So can you imagine me? walking four hours like 25 meters that way turn around 25 meters this way turn around 25 meters that way turn around this is the inner walk and if you do this for four hours you will clean up your whole mind to be clear four days in a row everybody i spoke about this inner walk was very positive about it and they were all like wow you should do it this is really amazing the results are beautiful you need to do it. So I am thinking of doing it, maybe together with my wife, or maybe I will just give her this beautiful opportunity of doing this while I'll take care of our puber kids. The Bitcoin price, guys. Yes, of course, you want to talk about the Bitcoin price. It's difficult. 
I am just focused on next Tuesday guys. Next Tuesday is the closing and the opening of a new monthly candle and we need to close this candle above 9,300 US dollars. If we don't close this candle above 9,300 US dollars guys, there is a big chance we can drop all the way down to 7K because that is what most of the TAs are expecting at the moment. They are expecting a huge drop to the 8K region and then to the 7K region and then the bull run finally to really start in 2021. This is one of the scenarios I talked about a few times in my videos as well. As, you, um, as you're used to me, I always show you two types of scenarios, the bearish scenario and the bullish scenario. You need to be prepared for both of them. If we go for this bearish scenario, yes, we can go all the way back to 7K, which would again be a beautiful opportunity to buy Bitcoins. So if you're uncertain on the Bitcoin price at the moment, you probably are too heavily invested into Bitcoin. So you should diversify your Bitcoins a little bit into stable currencies and then just wait till the moment comes there that Bitcoin goes down and then you buy back or wait till the moment comes there that Bitcoin goes up and has a confirmation that we will in go into this bull run and then buy in. I will wait. This Thai boat is making so much noise. So both scenarios are possible, so always be prepared. That's why I always say to you guys, zoom out, because even if we fall down to 7K, nothing is going to change about the true fundamentals behind Bitcoin. Nothing is going to change on the long-term chart, because in the long-term chart, we will see a bull run in the next two years all the indicators are telling us that, that we will see a bull run in the next two years like i said in yesterday's video uh, the hash ribbon indicator is starting to flash and many more of these indicators starting to flash and if we are able to close next tuesday above 9300 guys man then guys i don't think we will go back and retest the 7k region but if we are not able to close let it be clear we can retest this region, but in the long term, if you zoom out, we will go up. Bitcoin will be 100K somewhere in the future, in the next couple of years. So I think we don't need to freak out about these small drops. We need to zoom out and see the big picture. And I am not the only one that thinks this, guys. No, these huge funds think this as well. You know Grayscale, I already talked about them a few times. So Grayscale added almost 20,000 Bitcoins last week and all more than 50,000 since the halving. Guys, if you compare this to the amount of Bitcoins that are being mined, last week about 7,000 Bitcoins were mined. Grayscale added 20,000 Bitcoins to their portfolio. There were only 7,000 Bitcoin mined. The rest they just bought up. Why would a huge investment fund buy all these Bitcoins? Because they want to make losses for all their clients? I don't think so. And if you compare the grayscale numbers to the halving numbers, since the halving, around 40,000 Bitcoins have been mined. So grayscale bought all these 40,000 Bitcoins plus another 13,000 extra because they bought 53,000 Bitcoins since the halving. Why would this huge investment fund do this? Do they want to go bankrupt? Do they want to bankrupt their clients? I don't think so. They are not the risk takers like me that go all into something. They are huge financial institutions that depend on their clients' happiness. If their clients are not happy, they are going to leave these investment funds. So these investment funds are not willing to take these risks I took with my family to go all in. They calculate everything and they don't take huge risk. So that's why they bought 50K Bitcoins in the last couple of months. The reason why we could fall back to 7K, you can see this also on this chart. I already shared this chart with you guys a few weeks ago. On this chart, you can see the total market cap of crypto. And if you look at the total market cap of crypto, we are now around 270 billion US dollars, of which like 170 billion dollar is Bitcoin. So, but if you look at this total market cap of 270 billion dollars, and you look at this chart, you can see all these beautiful lines. You can see the 200 day moving average. You can see the 200 week moving average. You can see the cyclical curve and you can see this logarithmic curve. 
all these lines are the lines that if you zoom out on the charts they show you this whole history of a long period of time 200 days 200 weeks cyclical curve the logarithmic curve also take it back to all to the beginning of bitcoin so if you look at these lines they are all coming together in this triangle if you see this huge triangle they come all together in this point where the total market cap is around 195 to 200 billion US dollar that would mean if we drop with 25% from today's prices which would bring us to around 7k if we would fall these 25% we would fall with the total market cap exactly to these lines so a 25% drop would bring us back to this point where all these lines come together and where we can bounce off again to go upwards so this is why a lot of people think that we could fall back to 7k and this is also the reason that I'm prepared to see this happening because these lines have been support for many years and these lines have shown us in history that they were very important lines if you look to the left on the chart you can see the history and you can see that these lines have been support for many times and that makes them very important if these lines would act as support again then yes we could drop with 25 percent all the way back to 7k where all these lines come together to have this beautiful bounce off from there again and fly up to the moon the next two years this is a scenario that could play out but again let's watch this price on tuesday let's see if we close above 9300 us dollars because to me this is still a very bullish moment if we are able to close above 9300 us dollars next tuesday some other news guys did you read the news about venezuela now not allowing bitcoin payments anymore for their passports in venezuela you were able to pay your password using bitcoins so all the people that didn't live in venezuela all over the world and that needed to have a new password they could just pay with bitcoin venezuela just stopped accepting bitcoin nobody knows why there is no reason we have seen one of these government people tweet that venezuelan people should be able to pay their passports with the petrodollar and the petrodollar is of course a very centralized cryptocurrency launched by venezuelan government so they want to delete now these decentralized options of bitcoin and they just want to introduce their own centralized versions of cryptocurrency um, it's a big play guys this is what governments do this is what governments have been doing for many many years it's just up to us to escape this system to break free born to be free born to break free it's all a b bitcoin <laughs> you know so the moment we stop obeying these our governments the moment we stop having fear for these governments the moment we stop having fear for the sanctions these governments can take if we do something not legal in their eyes that will be the moment we will become truly free till that point we will be sheeple and we will be following everything these people say because we have too much greed inside and too much fear inside and as long we as humanity are driven by greed and fear these people will have control upon us because they exactly know how to play this game they create a world where everybody is in for accumulating more wealth becoming more greedy because they want to be better and richer than the other ones and then they create this fear that people never want to lose this wealth again you know and if they play this game the right way we will stay dependent on these guys that's why we as a family took the step to not chase this dream of wealth anymore and to just live every day and to just start sharing and giving away part of our wealth that's how we prepare our kids for a future that is not just about themselves but a future that's about a community about living together working together and building new beautiful projects that can change this toxic world's mindset from greed and fear again into a mindset that the world needs that's all about love and sharing is caring 
And I think this is very important that we as a parents now show this our children. And that is why we are living this life. And that is why I invite you all to live this life. And that's why I invite you all to check these beautiful projects. One of them is houseofdao.io. We are building this kind of a community here where people can start to live this life while they still work and provide for their family. And while they provide a beautiful solution for the future. Another project is Blockchain Valley guys in Bulgaria. If you're not, if you don't want to go to Asia and you want to stay in Europe, check blockchainvalley.com in Bulgaria. Same ideals. They want to change the world for the better and they want to have all these people live and work together in one huge, big, happy city with their own rules, with their own beautiful monetary system of cryptocurrencies so that people can be happy and focus on creating beautiful dApps or blockchain projects that will, that will make the world a better place. That's why I am an ambassador for Blockchain Valley. That's why I am, I am an ambassador for houseofdoubt.io because I want to be part of these new decentralized ways of living all over the world in beautiful communities that support to change this world for the better. Where people are having mastermind groups, where people have YouTube groups, where people all sit together and just think through how can we change this toxic mindset of fear and greed into the mindset of loving and sharing and is caring for each other. This is what needs to happen. If we can make this happen together with giving all these people all over the world access to the monetary system by just using a phone and not needing banks anymore, I think this will also help to catalyze this new kind of way of living. Because like so many people are still saying, ah, oh, two to three billion people don't have access to the monetary system. Yes, I said that in the beginning as well, but that was when Bitcoin was not that mainstream accepted yet. This is not true now anymore. Those three bil billion people that don't have access to the monetary system do have access to the monetary system now. We as a community just need to show them how. Because they can already use Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, many other local cryptocurrencies without using a bank, just by using their phone. I know you think now, yeah Didi, you're talking so easy, but so many people maybe don't have a phone. This is also not true, because the numbers and the facts show us that all these huge markets where the poor people live, in India, in Africa, in Indonesia, the telephone usage is the biggest of all the world. The youth between 15 and 25 has the biggest telephone adoption if you compare it with the rest of the world. All these people have a cheap phone. Phones are getting cheaper and cheaper and better and better. These guys have access to the monetary system now. We just need to teach them how to use these tools to become part of our huge community because we have been educated on how to invest and how to make sure our money that is not devaluating but that our money is increasing in value. These guys are very new to this area. These guys are very new to this monetary system so we need to teach them. And one of the projects that is teaching them this is Uphold. Uphold is an amazing project now that makes it possible for many people in South America to have fractional ownership of shares. So they can have fractional shares of Google, of Amazon, of Tesla. And you might think now, ah, oh, but these poor people, they are not thinking about shares, they are just worrying about how to get their daily needs. Yes, I agree, this is also true, but this needs time. If we don't give them any opportunities or chances, they will stay worrying just about their primary needs. But if we give them the tools, they can slowly evolve into becoming a little bit closer to the richdom we already have. Because we are too greedy to give it to them, we are too greedy to share it with them, then at least we need to teach them how to come closer to us. And Uphold is doing this in a beautiful way because they can now buy for, I think it's 10,000 Satoshis, fractal share of Amazon, Google or Tesla. And yes, this matters. Because if they would already have done this in 2010, I will give you an example. If they would have put 1,000 US dollars in this Upfold share portfolio in 2010, they would now have 5,700 US dollars. If you compare this to what happened to their 1,000 US dollars since 2010, then you can see how big the difference is, guys.
For example, the people of Brazil, if they had 1,000 US dollars in 2010, they have now $337 left. $337 compared to the $1,000 they had. Just by doing nothing, just by keeping the money on the banks, it devaluated to 337 US dollars. If we look at Argentina Peso, if they had $1,000 in 2010, they are now left with $50. And if you are going to look at Venezuela, you will get a heart attack because they had thousand US dollars and that is now worth a single penny. So if these guys in 2010 had the opportunity to diversify a little bit of their wealth into these fractal ownership of stocks, they would have now had 5,700 US dollars instead of thousand US dollars. They would now have been one step closer to the world we have been living in. And why am I telling this now? Because now we can do the same again. We can still educate them on how to get these fractal ownerships of shares, how to step into this beautiful monetary system of Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and all the other ones, so they can protect their wealth. It's not even anymore about you know accumulating wealth for them. It's about protecting wealth. And how can we help them to understand how to protect, protect their wealth? Because the tools are there. We just need to give them the education on how to start using these tools so they are able to protect their wealth. Because the next 10 years, these $337 will maybe even go down to $5. These $50 will maybe go down to $1. And this one penny will maybe go down to 0, 0.000. So we need to step in now. We have these tools, we have the knowledge. We just need to share the knowledge and these tools and educate these people. This is what, what we as a family wanted to do with the Sharing is Caring Tour, but because of the COVID, our tour was disrupted. We are looking for new opportunities to continue this tour with a beautiful camper van, drive around the world and educate these people and spread the word and just do our small contribution to the big shift we are seeing now in this monetary system. Okay guys, I think that was enough serious shit on this video today. Not all my videos are that serious, we have fun videos as well. So if you want to have more fun, check the other videos of course. <laughs> I'm going to end the video with some funny stuff because I saw now this beautiful thing on Twitter, it's called Blockchain Heroes. Uh, it was created by Joe Alcom and Travis Wright from uh, the Bad Crypto Podcast. They created these cool cards now and with all these blockchain heroes on them and they call them NFT like collectibles and you can collect these cards and every card represents a blockchain hero in the last from the last 11 years and a slapstick parody kind of cards where you can kind of see who is uh, who the card is representing but you don't know it's a really cool and entertaining way for the crypto community um, to have ownership of these nfts they are built on the wax blockchain these cards have already been popular since i was a young man i was collecting all these football player cards and all that stuff you know and i think in the states everybody wants to have the baseball player cards and now this blockchain space has their own blockchain heroes cards um, of course in this virtual beautiful way where, and you can collect all of them i think they will publish 50 of them i will keep you up to date because i don't have all the news yet about blockchain heroes because i just like all these projects that bring entertainment to this industry because we need entertainment in this industry that was the video for today's guys i want to thank you for watching if you like the content please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share this video with your communities hit this bell button so you will be notified on every new video i make and if you're up to it leave a comment because i love to have comments and i love to respond to those comments and like i always end my videos guys you need to zoom out in crypto and you need to zoom in in life you need to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living See you tomorrow again and enjoy your day guys. Bye.